Good day, folks. I'm heading up into a site I discovered here, I don't know, a month or so ago now, I guess. I didn't do a whole lot of digging around, more just surface hunting. Stopped to put my uh, deep woods off on. Gotta have that. And it is uh, hotter than hell here already this morning. I don't know, it is about 70 degrees Fahrenheit, I guess. Whew! So I gotta get up in there, try digging around a little bit. Uh, don't forget to give the thumbs up, folks. Uh, it helps the channel a lot. As slow as that do, I appreciate that. All right, well, I'm going to get up in there and uh, see if we can dig anything up. I'll see you there. Not a cloud in the sky. Okay, change plans, folks. i got to get out of here. This place is full of fire ants. Check it out. I'm getting bit. They're crawling all over me. Oh. Look up in here. I don't know how good you can see that, but they are just everywhere. Okay, I'm getting out of here. I'm um, not having much luck exploring and digging today, folks. But here's something that's kind of interesting. Well, let's check this out. Since we're in the area. Heritage Cemetery. Looks more like abandoned cemetery to me. Kind of goat path through here. Well, there's a couple of stones there. Elizabeth, wife of uh, somebody. What's the date on it? I can't make it out. Can't make out the date. Looks like 1811. Huh. That's pretty old. Here's another one right up here. Let's check this out. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, it's got a, the Holy Bible on the top of it. It's all in one piece. Cool. What's the date on this one? 1859. Died... December 27th, 1859. Yes, sir. Jeremiah Scott. S-C-O-T-T-E, it looks like. There's another one down here. Deborah, Deborah Woodcock. Died March 3rd, 1878. 63 years old. Ten months. Look, they even put the sixty-three years old and ten months. You can put the months on it. That's pretty neat. Cool old stone. Let's get a picture of that. Moving right along. Mosquitoes are eating me up here. Chewing me up. Right in the friggin' willy wags here. Holy smokers. Friggin' James Brown. <laughs> yes, sir. Eighteen seventy. Seventy nine years old. Something native of uh Forfreshire, Scotland. Right on. Colonel the Honorable James Brown. Neat, oh, neato. 1870. I'm just looking to see if there's any, lots of times they have other, other names and stuff on the other sides, but it's looking like this one. There's a top to it right there. 
James Brown, baby. That's supposed to be up there. Oh. Oh, okay. Cool. Looks like the path keeps going up through that way. Right, oh, look, there's one up there. This is definitely what you'd call overgrown. This one wasn't closed. Almost looks, almost looks like a more modern one. Maybe a bit newer. Well, no, still way back in the mid to 1800s. Wow. It's in good shape for uh, being that old. Native of St. James Parish, Charlotte County, New Brunswick. This is a... Uh, oh, friggin' mosquitoes are getting me. Conic. C-O-N-N-I-C. Huh, Amanda and Charles Howard. Conic. And then there's all kinds of other ones on here, too. These are just a list of names and dates. All in the mid-1800s. Uh, Let's get down out of here before we break our necks here. Or before I do, you guys are probably safe. <laughs> Unless you're watching me while you're walking through the woods or something. Uh, they're up on the top of a ladder. Hasty. Is that stone? Almost looks metal. That is stone. Memory of John Hasty. Age 83 years old. April 26, 1883. See, these guys lived to uh, ripe old age back then, too. For some reason, everybody seems to think folks died really young back then, but that's just not the case. These folks all live pretty good, long lives. There's another one, Elizabeth, wife of Harris Connick. 1816 to 1854. Now that's a short life there. Connick, well, there's a little stone here. There's an even smaller stone. Not much bigger than my hand. I don't know what they call these ones. GSC, it looks like that says. There's Elizabeth here. Died 1851. Harris Connick. Elizabeth Harris Connick. Well, she got two stones. Maybe one's a mother, one's a daughter. Who knows? Huh. Yeah, it is. Children of Elizabeth Harris Connick. Oh, Elizabeth and Harris. Well, there you go. Um, yeah, it keeps going this way. There's one on the ground down in there, I can see. See if we can focus in there. See it? All right. Where are we at? All right. Oh, there. That's a stone laying down. And here's some more over here. Right that first spot I went to today, the red ants or fire ants, whatever they were, were just everywhere, all through the woods. It was like being in a friggin' fire pit, crawling up my pant legs, biting my legs. Can't make too much out on this one. But I didn't stay there long. No thanks. Those things hurt when they bite and they sting last for about an hour. There's some more here. Can't quite make out what these ones are. Here's an interesting pillar style one here. Once again, the top looks to be busted off it. Henry P. Pollard. Age 43. Yeah, that guy died mid-age. Looks like a, that just looks like a rock there. Could be a headstone though. Check it out. There's a pillar there, being an enclosure. 
No, it looks like a fence. See, it runs all along down through there. But here's one here, right behind us. Died 81 years old. I don't know what that one says. Almost looks like two years old, but well, it might be. Rhoda, Henry D, and Wellington. Or Henry O. No, it's got to be a D. Henry D. Never heard of a name like that before. more up in there there's that one that was laying right on the ground in here like we're right in the woods here folks right in the woods yeah well John somebody can't make too much out about that one I could go right up through here though holy frig a woodpecker was that this hole Rotten tree, trying to get bugs out of it, probably. Uh, there's one leaning against that tree. I don't know if we looked at that one or not. Oh, well, Aaron Jr. Age uh, 23. Well, he died young, too. Huh. Well, seems to be pretty much the same as today. Some live old and some get cut down early in life. That's the way she goes. Shame, really. Hate to see anyone dying. Well, folks, it looks like that's it for here. I'm gonna get out of here. Maybe uh, that'll be it for today, I don't know. It's getting really hot here. It's almost mid-afternoon. This one here gets me, though. Friggin' James Brown. <laughs> Are you kidding me? James Brown. All right, well, over and out, folks.